Hey guys, I've never done a product review before, so here's my first product review. So I will be reviewing the CAF 10 mini sponge filter. This is a great uh, filter for a tank under 5 gallons, I would say. So let's take a look at packaging. I, you'll find them for uh, about $3 at a local fish store. I have never seen a sponge filter for sale at a chain store. But I don't know. So let's look at it. Aquatop Classic CAF 10. Picture of the product. Classic Aquaflow sponge. A simple classic and economical aquarium filter. About the CAF 10, tested by breeders and hatcheries for decades. Install the air pump or power head, suitable for high flow rates without clogging, less maintenance than traditional filters, easy and fast to clean, long lasting and more durable. So it says up to 10 gallons. I would not recommend this. Uh, it seems like that would be way under filtering to me. Uh, I use like, if this is up to 10 gallons and I'm using like 40 gallon filters on my 10s, so I would tap to 5. And then also just some stuff I don't feel like reading. Just pause now if you feel like reading this. Now on to the filter itself. Uh, it's weirder than normal sponge filters because normal sponge filters just have big sponge on the outside and then some uh, some uh, media in the inside but since this is a mini sponge filter I would say this is about four inches which is I think ten centimeters I am probably wrong uh, okay just four inches um, from the end of the tube to the bottom here I would say uh, so the top is it is a sponge uh, and down there er, that's where the gravel is down here large chunk so it won't fall out so the tube is incredibly small say uh, it's about the size of female pick your guppy so about an inch so yeah Now without, you don't, I don't think you actually need this, so if you don't you feel like the look of this more, which I don't, I like it with the tube. Uh, yeah, so now let's look at them in action. So, I just picked up two last night, and uh, I haven't started them yet because I don't have a sponge filter for them, but I have them running in the L's. Silverado tank and the El Salto tank. That's a tongue twister. Um, this one, for some reason, is getting a good amount of algae growth and nitrate buildup. I am going to clean that off this morning or this morning, this weekend. Uh, these guys seem to be doing good in it though. If you can name this fish, you will get a shout out. Okay, and then over here. Uh, yeah, this one seemed to be doing better, but I set this one up more recently. Okay, here's a better shot of the fish. If you can get this right, you will get a shot out. So get it right. It's really cute, and it's incredibly tiny. It's my finger. No, it's not full growth, I don't think. So yeah, stars-wise, I would give it... 8 out of 10 uh, just it's, it's nice compact does its job but this is too misleading I would say if you had one of these for a 10 gallon that would just not why don't even bother putting a filter in it if you're just gonna get one of these for a 10 all it will do is add a tiny tiny bit of current but it won't help filter any anything out of the tank so yeah that's it uh guess the fish in the comment below or in the comments below you will win a shout out and 
Uh, if you want me to do more product reviews, let me know, and I will. Okay, see ya. Bye.